Discogs is the best place to log, organize, and track your physical music collection. It boasts over 16 million releases. Look at an album like Dark Side of the Moon, which just turned 50 years old. There are over 1,250 different versions or variants of this album across a wide range of formats, release years, and so much more. It gets pretty granular. If you track your collection in Discogs, there's a possibility at some point you'll want to export it. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through this process. It's quite simple, but also very easy to overlook, so don't beat yourself up if you have not figured it out yet. As a bonus, I'll show you how to import your collection into Google Sheets once it's been exported from Discogs. First is to log into your Discogs account. This should land you on your dashboard page as pictured here. In the tabs along the top, we're going to click on the second one over which is called your collection, and this will take you to the My Collection page. This has all the things you've added to your collection. Just below your user navigation in the upper left where you have Dashboard, Collection, Want List, you'll find the Search Collection area. In the upper right, you're going to find your user icon. You're going to follow that search collection all the way to the right. The area directly below your user icon, you'll see manage folders, manage custom fields, change currency, and export my collection. We're going to click on the export my collection button. This takes you to the main export page and that link defaults to the export your collection field. Though if you wish, you can click the collection drop down and choose from contributions, want list, marketplace inventory, marketplace orders, marketplace order items, marketplace transactions, and monthly platform fee. So there's a lot that you can do from this export page. For our purposes and for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave it on collection. And now we're going to go ahead and hit the green request data export button. This is going to prompt it to export your collection. You'll see that a new line under date processed has been added. It says processing, collection under type, format is CSV, and under status it is processing. If you go up into your browser and hit refresh, it should have finished. Go ahead and hit download and that's going to export your collection as a CSV. I can see it over here in my Chrome browser. All right, now I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive account. If you already have logged into Google, to be honest, I rarely log out. We're gonna select a new Google Sheet, and this is gonna open a new tab with that sheet. I always like to title it right away, so I'm gonna type Andy's Discogs Collection, and I'm gonna title it, uh, give it a date as well. Now to import, we're gonna select File, Import, and this is gonna bring up a dialog box. Go ahead and select the upload button from that import file area. This is going to allow you to browse or just drag and drop a file. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my finder window and find that specific document. Now it did put it in a zip folder so I do have to open that first and then I'm going to drag it straight on into the import file area. This is now exporting that and it's going to say create new spreadsheet or detect automatically. I'm just going to go ahead and import the data and see what happens. It says to open it now, I'm going to say open now. And now it's added all of the information from that CSV file straight into my Google Sheet. I can format it however I want. I can change whatever I want. And there you have it. It's now in Google Sheets. Super, super easy if you are techie. Not always the easiest if you are not, but that is how you do it. And if there's something else you would like to learn how to do from Discogs, drop a comment down below and I'll get on that video next. Now, if you like Discogs, there's likely a thing or two you wish that they would still do. In this video right here, I share one thing I really wish Discogs would include in their collection export, hop over there to see what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell so you'll be notified of new videos when they go live. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl channel, and I'll see you in the next video.